Hello everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at one of the options area, particular to the flight log. So let's go into the options, click the flight log tab, and we'll discuss the various settings that are available in this uh, section of the options. The first one, the top left as you can see, is the formatting area. And in this formatting area you can control the look and customization of uh, date formats uh, for the flight log spreadsheet style entry area. You can see a small example on the right hand side that represents what the flight log area would look like if we didn't have it open. We can change the header color. Uh, we can make it orange. You can see it automatically changes to orange. Uh, the header font color. Maybe we want that to be uh, a blue. Uh, we can change the actual header font. Maybe we want to make it bold. You can see that uh, we're now a bold navy blue with the orange background. So you get the gist of the uh, of the formatting for the header, the back color even rows, uh, back color odd rows, font color even and odd rows, etc. As far as the date format, the example will be the current year, the current month, and the fifth day of the month. So you can see we can choose for the flight date column, this far left column in the background, we can choose how our date is going to be presented. Uh, right now it's a three letter month. And then uh, let's go ahead and change that to. Um, a month day year presentation let's go ahead and hit close and you can see we've got the uh, month day year presentation for the date back into the options flight log area uh, we can also change the format for the uh, out in takeoff and land or the UI times for those that use those those columns are hidden by default in logbook pro so those of you that want to log your takeoff and land times and or your out and in times um, you can go to the config display area as discussed in a pre prior video and actually show those columns as they do exist. Uh, the default entry style is spreadsheet or window style so when you actually click uh, or when you start up Logbook Pro um, it will uh, if you have the show log at startup it will or show the spreadsheet style or the window style uh, interface. There are two separate interfaces for entering flight log information. You can see we have the spreadsheet style already open in the background but there's also an alternate view or an ent entry system called the window style, a little different. As far as uh, pop-up summaries, now this applies only to the window style. Um, and uh, it shows a uh, calculation. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to see total time. Uh, let's show our window style log. And let's just back go to the beginning here. And for this uh, particular aircraft type, uh, let's go to a different type. Um, if you just hover over dual, um, you're going to see a grand total of 470.9 hours of dual time. And then for the selected type, the AA1B, there's 23.3 hours. So you can see by highlighting over the uh, field, you'll get a summary. And that's what the uh, pop-up summary information is for. <clears throat> the settings down the bottom, show log at startup, that applies to when you start Logbook Pro. Uh, it will automatically go, go into the data entry area. Again, either the spreadsheet or the window style. The spreadsheet is the default. Enable double click auto entry. Uh, if you have a duration value of 1.5, for example, you can go to other columns and double click in those columns, and that'll automatically enter the duration value. And that applies both to the window style and the spreadsheet style. So you don't actually have to enter 1.5 um, for every column that you want to enter. For example, pilot command, solo, cross country, whatever. Uh, if, your, if your duration is already set to 1.5, just double click the columns that you want to match duration and that time will be uh, entered for you. Uh, when you first open the logbook screen, it will go to a new entry for you. Uh, so you can actually just start typing and uh, enter your latest flight information. The automatic FAR error checking is just a basic checking system to make sure that no times exceed your duration. Uh, there are situations, maybe you're importing data or whatnot, um, uh, actually this applies to when you're actually entering a flight. If you enter a duration of 1.5 and then you go over to Pilot and Command and enter 1.6 by accident, Logbook Pro is going to warn you. There's actually another system I was alluding to that uh, is an error checker within the flight log area uh, that will actually go back and check all of your flights. So if you imported data, it will catch it for you at that time. The uh, window style display pop-up field summaries, which is controlled by the pop-up summary section that I described. So you can actually turn that off uh, if you want. If it's annoying, uh, it shouldn't really slow things down. The computers are so fast these days. 
Uh, the bottom entry, auto clean entry is not having a duration or flight sim value. Uh, Logbook Pro is making sure you don't have erroneous entries. Uh, maybe you were tinkering around and you just picked a date and a type and then you clicked on a different row. Uh, normally that information would uh, persist, but uh, Logbook Pro says, hey, this isn't a, a valid entry and it's going to remove it as an erroneous entry. So if you, uh, the, the minimum required columns to satisfy a complete flight entry are date, type, ident, route, and duration or a flight sim simulator value. So again, your date, your route, your aircraft, type, and ident, and a duration or sim. Now for those of you that don't have a route or if you don't want to enter a route, for example, a sim flight or an ident, a tail number, end number, for a sim, just enter a hyphen and that'll satisfy Logbook Pro as long as there's something in there where you can enter sim, NA, whatever you want, but as long as it has something to appease those five required columns of information, Logbook Pro will not purge that. But if you find out that uh, you're not entering your routes and those flight log entries are disappearing, come into the options flight log area and uncheck, clear the checkbox for the auto clean entries. The auto duration uh, section. If you have the columns takeoff and land or and or out and in uh, showing, when you enter the takeoff and land time, when you tab over to the duration column, it'll automatically calculate your duration for you based off of this setting, either takeoff to land or out to in. And you can also turn off if you're still entering these fields, takeoff, land, out and in, and you don't want this duration to be calculated, you want to enter it manually, then just set it to none. And then uh, for the window style interface, when you first open the area and when you make new entries, you know you enter a flight, click new, enter a flight, click new. Um, you may be entering flights that are on the same day, so you just want to keep entering, you know, changing the duration. Your type is the same, your tail number is the same, and Logbook Pro is going to remember that recent information for you because the idea here is for you to enter flights as fast as possible. Uh, the top right, you have a summary bar system, which we can talk about another time, but it allows you at the bottom. You can see here's a flight summary. It'll show you uh, your total number of flights and then the last 30, 60, and 90 days, total hours, last 30, 60, and 90 days, and you can configure all this. So if you click the summary bar, that allows you to change this little toolbar you can see here in the background. Let me move this up. Here's flights, hours, approaches, day land, night lands. So you can uh, add several uh, bits of information down there for instance summary analysis. The config display as discussed in another video is where you can turn on and off columns. You can see the out, take off, land, and in are actually option not to show uh, as well as the evaluator. And then you can change the column headings. So if we want to go take off to T slash O, you can just change that to T slash O and that'll change your captions for the top of the flight log area. So this is a brief summary of the options flight log area. Pretty straightforward, but uh, the settings down at the bottom uh, you want to pay attention to as well as review the documentation. Documentation is available by clicking help contents, so please do review the docu documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our help desk and uh, contact support. If you visit www.logbookpro.com forward slash support dot ASPX, you'll find resources to assist you. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.